Housing prices have definitely strained the wallets in the Phoenix metro area, but Isabella Fredrickson tells us more affordable housing communities are breaking ground across the valley. Maryvale High School special education teacher Kareem Neal hopes to soon live in Greenlight communities, currently under construction in Phoenix. For me, this project means hope. I uh, hope that we, we will stop losing teachers to things like salary, uh, to other states that offer uh, maybe better prices on uh, rents. According to the National Low Income Housing Coalition, Phoenix is among the top 10 metro areas facing the most severe affordable housing shortages. Only 20 rentals are available for every 100 low income renters. Greenlight Communities is one of a number of new communities being built that focuses on affordable housing. Now these apartments will combat the many issues our community is currently facing today, including the teacher shortage and high rental costs, hopefully giving members of our community a place to finally call home at an affordable price. Greenlight says these apartments are geared towards working and middle class people and will cost noticeably less than most other apartments in the area. So in essence what it means is that we can rent, this project's gonna rent an average about $1,200 uh, a month. According to Rent.com, the average rent of a one-bedroom apartment in Phoenix is around $1,500. This is out of reach for many people making the median income of just $31,000 a year. Neil is certainly looking forward to a new home closer to his work and more money in his bank account. I currently pay $1,900 a month and it would be $1,200 a month and that would be cool wow. to live in a nice place that also is affordable. In Phoenix, Isabella Fredrickson, Cronkite News. Greenlight has at least seven new communities in the works. In addition, other developers have opened new affordable housing projects in the East Lake community in Phoenix, Chandler, and Tempe.